Okay, hello everyone, this is Mr. Elberonin here again, and One Piece Odyssey has finally had its announcement and reveal. We got, we got kind of word of it about four months ago, or three months ago, when the name One Piece Odyssey was claimed by Bandai Namco, but we had no idea what the game was. Well, finally, we actually know what it is, and they've released a trailer, and the game's coming out this year, apparently. Um, we don't have a release date, but the game looks pretty flash. Um, let's check out the trailer, and also we've got a few um, developer interviews and stuff we can watch, so we can really see some cool stuff about the game. Um, oh yeah, this first line, like, testament shows how long, like, this game has been in development. <laughs> like, three years ago was when Oda was actually, like, planning the characters and designs and story for this game. Which, just the fact that that alone um, is part of the game is really interesting. It, like, that Oda designed the characters and the story and stuff, it's gonna make the game feel so much more one PC, obviously. If it's, if it's designed by the creator, but you can see even in the trailer all the mobs and the, just the world and stuff feels really like a crazy One Piece world, like something in Skypea or um, just in one of those wacky islands that we've seen in the movies or stuff. It just, it feels really authentically One Piece and you can tell it was designed a while ago because it's like straight after time skip designs and Jinbei doesn't exist, but no one's complaining. It looks awesome. So as you can see, nice. HD view. The art style, I think, matches really well as well, because that can be something that's really tricky with... Um, <laughs> I'll stop pausing in a second, but that can be something really tricky with anime games, like, is blending the, like, very fake, you know, cartoony style with a more realistic and 3D style, and how far do you want to lean into each side? Like, Jump Force tried to make a little bit more, like, realistic designs, but this one I feel like is a good middle ground. It's not, like, too cartoony where everything, like, has no texture or anything, but it's still pretty, like, surreal and obviously cartoony looking. So we got a good look of all the terrains. So, it's a full One Piece RPG. Look at these graphics. They look awesome. See Luffy there? Looks great. Okay. Wait, this trailer makes me so excited. I completely forgot to say anything. I feel so happy when I watch this trailer. It looks so awesome. I think there's a post credit scene, right? It's just someone walking up to a straw hat. Oh, it's not Luffy. Different shoes. So, <laughs> completely forgot to talk through the trailer because it's so awesome. Did you listen to that soundtrack? I don't know if you'll be able to listen to my video, but I'm sure you've watched this trailer before. But God, the soundtrack is so good. I hope it's designed by the same same um music team at, that does the anime because that'll just give it the cherry on top for the one piece feel but the trailer music is awesome so if the music for the actual games soundtrack is anything similar to this i will be so so happy so yeah we've got gorgeous looking terrains like really detailed and really nice art style and we've got the straw hats they all are rendered very beautifully i think they're all different like, they're the same designs, obviously, because they're, you know, they're just post-time skip, but they're different renders than we've had from other games, so it's not just a copy and paste from, you know, things like Burning Blood or other Bandai Nemco assets, you know, they're similar because they're the same designs, but I think they are fresh and they're in this specific art style. So you'll look really good. We've got some new characters because we're in a new story. And we can go for what the actual storyline is in a sec after this. But as you can see, look, there is so much going on, and exploring the caves, going over, like, massive skeletons in a, a valley. There'll be some loot. 
so much world exploration and it looks really it's like way better than from what i've seen from world seek it looks like the world is, like look at all these different areas it looks like such a a living and beautiful world with like caves and dungeons and who stopped getting chased by one of these penguins come on and you get to play as all of the straw hats which makes me so excited having little side missions with all the straw hats like whatever nami's doing here with this like weather station like analyzing it you get to see the straw hats actually doing their straw hat stuff which is amazing and i love <laughs> any straw hat content that i can get actually i just noticed nami has her um new baton thing what did she what does she call it? Climb attack. She's the new one that she got on Zo. So they're not strictly the time skip designs. They can be adjusted a little bit. It's like big boss battles. It looks so awesome. Oh, wait, did we see? Yeah, Robin has like <laughs> Robin's my favorite straw hat. We get to see her on her own little side mission going through these like temples and stuff, which come on! That's peak Robin. This is like Skypea Robin going through, like, oh, it's too good. It's too good. I love that all the Straw Hats are going to have their own little missions, and oh, it makes me so excited. The fight animations look really good as well. It is confirmed to be turn-based combat, which people have mixed opinions about, but I'm going to be indifferent until we see it. Because, like, the animations look so good. A massive crocodile? Hey, th is that a banana crocodile? Wait, I want to see. That would be a really nice reference. Oh, it is! It's a banana crocodile, guys! The ones that were in Alabasta in Crocodile's Casino that, <laughs> like, Sanji beat up. Oh my god, I'm loving this game every... <laughs> every time I pause this trailer, I love the game more and more. And there's some, like, big conspiracy with the five Gorosei, I guess, going on. I didn't think they would put in, like, big stuff like this. I thought it would be, a, you know, self-contained, just a little story and a funky little island. But I guess they're putting in some stakes. Interesting. Gosh. It looks amazing. Okay, and so we can read through IGN's little announcement post here to learn a little bit more about the game. So, obviously, it's by Bandai Namco. The producer is Katsuaki Suzuki, and it's going to be an epic One Piece drama adventure in a full-on RPG. I've heard full-on RPG a lot of times describing this game, so it's, it's going to be an RPG, guys. One Piece RPG experiences are scattered throughout the game, such as story woven by straw hats, the dungeon experience, and various quests. Hell yeah. Ichiro Oda, the author of One Piece manga, designed the characters and monsters in Odyssey. Bandai Namco has confirmed several playable characters, including, you know, all the all the straw hats so the synopsis of the game is during their voyage the straw hats led by monkey d luffy are swallowed by a huge storm at sea they end up on a mysterious island full of nature amidst a, amidst the storm and become separated from one another and <laughs> that's a, like if you're judging by other stories i guess it's a little bit corny they're like oh they got separated by the storm and like now they have to do their own quest but god no i don't care that is awesome i love that I love that the straw hats are all going to be set apart, so they all get a chance to do their own things. They get to shine. Like we saw Nami, you know, investigating the weird weather events that were caused by oh, that this what was causing the storm and stuff. And Robin gets to explore the ruins, and Chopper, I assume, you know, will do some medicine thing, like find someone to heal, or just do something cool and they try and find each other. Like oh, <laughs> Usopp's just going to be running away from the <laughs> creepy penguins and stuff. It sounds amazing. Crew sets out on a new adventurous journey filled with wonders of raging nature, powerful enemies, and strange encounters with the island locals. The, oh, Matois Kuraba, a composer who worked on both the Dark Souls and Tales series, is right, writing the music for Odyssey. Right, so it's not exactly the same people that made the... Or I guess he might not be the only person who composed the music, but the composer has done game music, which I guess is probably good, because you can't just have One Piece soundtrack put in a game or else it could get kind of weird. So it's good that we've got, you know, triple A title composers working on that soundtrack, because I love a game soundtrack. Let's look at these screenshots they give us. Yep, looks good, looks good. The poor thousand sunny got ruined by the storm. We get to see these awesome mobs and <laughs> crazy creatures designed by Oda. The terrain, the straw hats, yeah, they all look amazing. I guess this is 
so like weird events there's like some weird like teleportation and these like weird magical cubes and you can see like Sanji and Zoro getting like whisked away or something these magical cubes they're all together here or nearly all together yeah no they're, they're together except Brook but maybe he's just standing off the side we see our new guy here I don't know if his name's been confirmed but he looks pretty Skypean though right Or Shandoran. And here's like a massive event with these magic cubes. World exploration, world exploration, world exploration, and the world looks awesome. <laughs> yeah. Um, and going into the fact that it's an, a turn based RPG, um, you know, people prefer an action fighter, but. And I kind of tend to lean t towards enjoying action-based fighters a little bit more as well but if it's a if it's a turn-based fighter done well like there's no way i'm complaining i i'm not one known to usually play games like that but the animation and the world exploration and everything looks so amazing that i'm 100 percent gonna be playing this game i do not care in the slightest that it's gonna be turn-based and you know what i'm just gonna trust have faith in Oda and the developers that it's going to be amazing turn-based combat and actually a surprisingly large number of people prefer turn-based combat and it can you know it's a little bit of a, a fresh taste on a one piece game because we've had a lot of like action brawlers like burning blood and you know <laughs> the pirate warriors series where they're just massive horde beat em ups so it's good to you know get a little bit of a a fresh taste on a one piece game um do we have any new stuff here Oh yeah, the developers are the same people that did the Pokemon, th these new games, which were very well received, so that's a good sign. And it's a turn-based fighter like Pokemon as well, so it's something that they're used to designing, so that's good. Okay, and here we have a producer interview. I hope there are subtitles. What is One Piece Odyssey? It's a JRPG. I'm going to speed this up because it's talking quite slowly. Epic design. Yep, an epic One Piece straw hat adventure. We love to hear it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, obviously, that's awesome to hear. What's the attractiveness? It's a JRPG, yep. And awesome new designs. Ooh, little rat guy, I haven't seen him yet. Dragons? Oh, and the world design. This looks awesome. Yeah, using all the straw hats is amazing. Mm, yeah. Okay. All that is very good stuff to hear about the game. It's good to hear that the developers have actually, you know, taken their time to make this game the game that they really want it to be, and it has didn't just get like thrown out before it felt complete. And yeah, they, they have they have the sign off from Oda. They have his designs, and you can really tell by how awesome the world is and the bobs, and the gameplay looks really good. And it's by developers who are you know, notoriously good for designing these kinds of games. So you can kind of trust that, you know, we're in good hands gameplay wise for a turn based fighter. The animations look awesome. All the graphics look awesome. And yeah, they they seem they seem to be pretty confident they've made a good game. So I'll trust them. And there's already a one Odyssey wiki page. Um, yeah, play local characters, obviously all the enemies. Oh, you've got the Kung Fu Dugongs. We saw them at the start. Blue Gorillas, Banana Wani. Is that the ma that's the oh yeah massive banana crocodile money, blue belly black belly mouse oh we saw the character art for that, the daddy penguin yeah that was chasing that was chasing Usopp, 
Kaio Dragon. Oh, we saw the, um, the art for that too. Acers, Animals and Pirates, obviously. Um, oh yeah, we saw Smoker there and the Elders. And uh, yeah, it's coming out in 2022. That's about all I have to say here. And yeah, the price is pretty typical for a AAA title game. $100, that's pretty normal. I wonder if there's going to be DLC for this game on launch, and I wonder what it would be. Because if it's a single self-contained story, I'm not sure that there's much else you can add. Like, maybe there'll be... If there's loot collecting, maybe they'll have, like, in-game purchases. I'm not quite sure. But, uh, I'm intrigued to see. Anyways, guys, that is all the news we have for One Piece Odyssey so far. It looks awesome. I cannot wait. I can't wait for them to release a... Re <clears throat> to reveal a release date so that I actually know like when I can be super hyped up for this like is it late 2022 or are we talking like halfway through the year or like Christmas time like wh when when are we leaving here because One Piece is at an all-time peak right now with the, with the recent manga chapters everyone is going wild so One Piece is in One Piece is going through through word at the moment it'd be a good time to hype up a game but uh <laughs> yeah, we've gone over everything. We've gone over the developer interviews. We know it's going to be an amazing RPG on its own little adventurous island where all the Straw Hats got lost and separated from each other and they have to go through an awesome adventure exploring the world and doing their own little tasks in a turn-based RPG exploration game. I keep saying the same thing over and over again. I think I should shut up. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. The game looks awesome. Can't wait to see more. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.